What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode here at Kiwi Tech. Check out what we got going on this week. So back over here on Dan's pre-runner, uh, we showed you we got it back from powder coat, paint, and Linex, and a uh, little bit of assembly underway here on the chassis. We got the fuel cell in here, uh, all powder coated black. We got the panels here, panels, skids, the front panel here. So kind of just got these big like bulky items that were kind of taking up some space in the chassis. Not too much else going on on the chassis right now as we've been prepping parts on the table. I'll show you those in a minute, but I want to show you the fuel cell hold down stuff we got going on. So we did uh, billet hold downs in the corners and on the top, and these all got hard anodized. So all like the exposed billet aluminum that's going to be like on the top of the chassis or an interior that's like super exposed will all be hard anodized, just less prone to fading and stuff like that. And then we even took the fill plates apart on the fuel cell, hard anodized the fill plates. So this is usually just like raw aluminum. Same with that side, uh, hard anodized those. And then we even swapped out all the hardware for stainless 12 point ARP bolts. So nice little touch there. And I'll just show you all the parts we got on the table ready for this thing. All right, before we go to the table over here, we got some parts on some carts over here. Rear trailing arms and upper links, all assembled, prepped, ready to go. So we got all the uniballs in here. We're still, we got to press in the uh, shock inserts here. So we do like a stainless insert. So the shock bolt's not just riding on this aluminum. Standard uh, procedure we do on all the aluminum parts. We got the front and rear hubs over here. These are all Pro-Am. Pro-Am hubs, six on six and a half trophy truck, uh, front and rear. Rear's a three and a quarter bearing, front's a two and a half. So, pretty big bearings on the rear. In the rear, we're running a 36 spline. We'll show you the uh, axles we have over here on the table. So we got all the misalignments for the chassis, all machine fit, and then we even, you know, took on the outside, did some scotch bright, cleaned them all up, all nice. So these are all fit labeled for every pivot. Those ones obviously go in the arms. They're in there already. Spindles are all assembled. I still got a safety wire this one, but we got all the RPI 12 points here and some safety wire going on in the snouts. All the holes are reamed on these. Got all the uniballs pressed in the arms. And then like on all the chassis components, uh, paneling, we did this standard uh, black powder coat on all that stuff. So it'll pop nice against that, that lighter gray on the chassis color. And then all the hardware, standard RPI. 12 points on everything with the perfect shank. So what I did, went through the whole truck, made a list. So this is everything for the whole truck right here, all the suspension pivots, and then uh, translate that into part numbers here. And then I order all this from RPI and it will show up like that. So Dan's pre-runner, this is a 10056, so that's a 5 8 and then I would go on here, uh, lower arm on the chassis. So if I go on my list here, I know what bolt I can grab to you know, put the truck together uh, with all the proper bolts everywhere. So that's how we do on all the chassis there. Got mid plate, front motor mounts here. So it's running at ID Designs, pre-runner, accessory drive on the LSX 454, which I'll show you the engine here in a sec. So we did uh, these billet mounts that bolt to the chassis and tie into the ID Designs front plate. Uh, we got some bearings and some stuff ready for the the hubs over there. Uh, dry sump tank from Era One. So we took this apart, got it all hard anodized. So basically all the parts, I didn't want anything just to go in raw or how they come from, you know, our supplier. So even like the dry sump tank straps, took these apart, got the brackets anodized, just clean them up a little bit and just, you know, add that little bit of detail. Tube works rear end over here. This is all ready to get assembled. I got the third member from Tube Works as well. And that is the billet third member that we run. And here is one of the axles for the truck. So you can see it's you know, gun drilled jumbo 36 blind. They're all polished. So it's not chrome, it's not, it's not for looks. It's basically to keep these things from uh, wanting to crack. So you get a bunch of longevity out of these things because these are not cheap to do a set of 
Jumbo 36 trophy truck axles. It's pretty much standard practice for every truck now. Gets those big axles. And we actually got this from Everson. So nice little brake pedal, put some tilt and masters on it. Uh, we're gonna make our own pad for it. And then once that's all done, we'll take this thing apart, get it anodized and uh, powder coat this, this bracket right here, steel. So that'll go nicely with our billet gas pedal and uh, billet dead pedal we're doing. So lots of time spent on this bench, getting everything set up for assembly on the truck. So once I get all this stuff all ready to go, I'll start putting some of these spacers in here and then we'll start you know, putting all these parts on the truck. So once we get all this done, it just helps with the process uh, to make the truck assembly go smoothly. Next time you see that truck, it'll be on uh, all four wheels and tires and uh, hopefully rolling off to the uh, interior shop. I said I was gonna show you the engine, so we'll just pull it out right here. Yeah, so here it is. So it's a uh, Redline LSX 454. It's got all the ID Designs front accessory drive, Mazier billet water pump, big power steering solutions, billet uh, trophy truck pump, AC, DC power alternator, and then we did all 12 point stainless ARP bolts on the front. It's got a daily dry sump. We got a new intake manifold on the way for this thing. We're doing kind of like a single plane with a big throttle body on it. And then we're gonna machine a big rectangle air cleaner to go on that. Uh, I'm gonna pull this valley cover off, get it powder coated black because this will be exposed and then we'll put some 12 points in this as well. Super excited to get this thing in the truck. Should uh, put down some pretty good power and uh, get this truck moving pretty good. All right, so another truck that we haven't talked about on our YouTube channel is the trophy truck build. We built a trophy truck, standard, you know, like 93 inch track width, 125 inch wheelbase, big block Chevy from Danzio, 975 horsepower, turbo 400, two Burks underdrive, full King shocks, shock package, custom 3.0 by six, bypass external reservoir rear bump stops. So we're the only other ones besides Concrete Motorsports that has got those. So thanks Brett at King for uh, letting us run those. But yeah, so basically we don't have it here right now. We didn't really film too much of that throughout the process, but it's basically, you know, similar to say this truck behind me, similar bulkhead as the Tundra, the gray truck, the other tube chassis truck over there. We'll kind of just show you some stuff on this and you know, tell you the similarities to the race truck to, to what we're doing here. So basically the trophy truck has the same bulkhead so this is our same center mount two wheel drive bulkhead with the power steering solutions, billet steering box, our swing set steering, similar floor layout. This one's obviously been stretched to do a pre-runner with a longer wheelbase, but basically like same pivots as the trophy truck, same trailing arms, same rear end, same tab layout on the rear end, same hubs. Uh, this actually takes a trophy truck shock package. So say if you bought a trophy truck, buy a pre-runner and you can literally take everything off of this truck put it in your race truck. Same back half, so like from here back, same fuel cell that we run with the radius cell. The trophy truck got our latest design with dual dry brakes and a little more capacity, so that one's about 105 gallons of fuel. A big CBR cooling package on that truck, all Triumph Performance, mil-spec wiring, so beautiful stuff on that thing. Danzio runs like a Life Racing ECU, so we ran Life Racing ECU and then we ran all MoTeC PDMs. Motec displays, we actually laser cut all the dashes and inserts for the inside of that truck. So we'll kind of use that stuff that we designed on that truck for a lot of these other trucks we're building right now. Super cool, you know, we finally got to build one of those. It's obviously something, you know, growing up as a you know, kid just watching, you know, Riviera truck and Herb's trucks and Robbie Gordon, you know, ripping trophy trucks. It's like, you know, that's always what you wanted to build. So we built one, it was cool. I got to rip it around the shop a little bit. I'm really excited to build the next one and we'll dive into that at a later date. But um, yeah, so yeah, we built a trophy truck.
All right, so that wraps it up for this episode. Obviously, we got a ton more stuff to talk about, but you know, we can only cover so much in these episodes. We see what's going on behind me, what's going on over here, what's going on over here. We got a lot of updates on all these other trucks and builds and parts and new employees and just a bunch of stuff going on. So tune in to the next episode and we'll try and cover some more of that. So like, subscribe, tell all your friends, share the page, do all that good stuff. Thanks guys.